Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Exile Escape from the Pit. We are here in the upper level of the Nephilim Fort, still looking for the mayor of Formolo's stolen necklace. We have a fancy door, we have the key. Let's do this. Okay, looks like someone is not at all happy to see us. Let me just do some uh, poison cure right quick. See if we can lure any enemies out the door. Excellent. <laughs> okay, that's kind of awesome, or the enemy is pathetic when Simon can take you out with a melee hit. Okay, that's three down. How many do you think are in there? There are four. Or there were four. Soon there will be none. Flame on you. <sighs> Excellent. Everyone is dead. Nothing special about this particular evil altar. Though it does appear to have a nice skull on it. Door locked. Door not locked. There is a thick book on the pedestal. It is apparently a Nephilim religious text, worthless to you. Let's see what's on the other side. Another worthless Nephilim religious text. And another locked door. Uh, spell points are still slightly abysmal. Oh, I hate it when the spell doesn't work. If the spell doesn't work, then that probably means picking the lock won't work. Uh, or maybe it's all random, I don't know. There is a crude necklace, beads and talons on a leather thong on this pedestal. Well, it's not the one we're looking for, but we'll take it anyway. Alright, see if we can go two for two on lock picking. We can. There is a gold necklace on the pedestal. It is a simple thing, just a slender gold chain with a clasp. And yes, this time it is a special item, the gold necklace. So we are totally free to vamoose from here and go back to Formolo. But we can see there's a fair bit of unexplored territory here. And we're not out of spell points just yet. And we are definitely not out of sword. Ability to hit with said swords is still inconsistent. Come on down, there's sword enough for everybody. It's not quite everybody. <laughs> Book, you've got spell points you're not using. Let's get a wound over here. Very nice. Stairway down, we'll leave that be for the time being. 
Huh. What could this possibly be? There is a large basalt altar here. It has ominous markings on it, and radiates an energy that is making you quite uncomfortable. <laughs> we can desecrate it. Shiny, let's be bad guys. You do so. You get a great feeling of set. Bleh. You get a great feeling of satisfaction until... What? Oh, that sounds very bad. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh, oh there's two of them. That is two hackies, or hakai, or I don't even know how you're supposed to pronounce that. We are nowhere near equipped to deal with these guys. These are upper level demons. You can see in one round we are almost dead just because one of them breathed on us. Let's go take a reload, shall we? Much better. We might come back and deal with those guys later if I remember. But honestly, that's most likely going to be at least a few character levels from now. Well, somebody's got a nice private bedroom here. Does somebody have any nice secret passages? Doesn't look like it. Right, locked. Kaylee, you are doing an excellent job with the lockpicks today. Gosh, you know, I think somebody might be mad about us uh, running into their temple and murdering everyone. That's not everyone. I can hear multiple footsteps behind that door. I should probably bless at least one of my fighters here. Ooh, and maybe I should do some healing as well. Uh, Kaylee has no healing ability. Book, you've got heal all right. Cool, you do. Stone mace, that's garbage. We're not picking it up. Okay, there was one more door on this end. Yeah, this end of the fort is really not all that exciting. It's just, uh, bedrooms. Bedrooms with basically nothing in them. Oh good, you did the stupid thing and came up within reach of my swords. And spear. And what does Book have equipped? He's got iron mace. Much better than the stone mace. So that's at least half of this area cleared. Ow, oh, jeez. That, that's a lot of dudes. Uh, I can fireball these guys, but I, can, I can't do it without targeting the kitty. Or Book, and Book really can't take it right now. <sighs> Curses. Want to cast fireballs, but don't want to risk book getting dead. <laughs> uh, 
Hooray, we survived. Brilliant, I love it when we do that. And once again, the cat is unusually chill for having just witnessed a room full of murder. Another bedroom, how exciting. Who even lives in these quarters anyway? I guess just random Neffel. There are secrets in here and- oh, that's an ogre. That could be a little bit interesting. So, Mr. O oh, Mr. Ogre does have a secret passage with a treasure chest and a trap that does nothing to me and some darts. That is one long hallway. Oh, now this room looks interesting, but let's retreat. And do up a quick heal on Book, because he keeps getting terribly damaged. Anybody gonna come for the bait? Anybody? Bueller? Okay, that was kind of a terrible idea. Book, let's have you do more healing. Well, that was nearly the worst thing that could have happened. <laughs> Let's just put all my squishy casters in the doorway where the enemies can see them. Okay. So, oh. Oh, that that's a lot of, um, that's a lot of guys. Okay. Plus Zoe. River is... Mm. Damn, I did not plan that out well. River's got enough decks, she could probably dodge a few hits, but if I put her out here, then I can't put Mal out. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have her do a... Oh, slow group. Awesome. I forgot I had that. And Simon's gonna do a bless on Mal. And Kaylee's going to do a haste on... Let's see. Let's say Zoe. She seems to be my most lethal right now. And it only looks like Mal got hasted because he went last in the turn, then he went first in the next round, and these guys didn't even get a turn. Because they are slowed. Okay, now River can come out. And use my favorite spell. Well, I was hoping to take out the Shaman, but I did get the Neffle Chieftain, which is nice. Uh, Simon, you've got plenty of spell points, so... Help us out with this guy. Aww. Still not dead. I can fix that. Well, that wasn't quite as scary as I expected. Ooh, a ring. Rings are fun. Now, I believe this room is right over the front gate on the, le on the main floor. There's a large cauldron here filled with oil being heated by a brazier underneath. Running along the floor to the south of it is a narrow trench with slits in the bottom. I'm gonna wreck it. You smash the cauldron and overturn the brazier. Nobody will be using this stuff anytime soon. And that takes out the boiling oil trap in the front gate. Huzzah! Ow! Anastasia just cast Ice Bolt on me. How rude. And my blessings wore off. How also rude. Hmm, well, nobody's taking the bait and coming through the doorway, so I think we'll just have to... 
save the game. Let's see, maybe do some blessing. And oh, that's combat only. Dang it. Okay. Go into combat mode. Actually, let's put River right up against the wall, and that should help with the range of slow group. And charge. I think these runes are just for decoration, but I don't want to risk it. Yeah, three damage. Great. Oh, Nefar Chieftain. And bless Zoe. Anybody need healing? Not really. I'm gonna keep Simon back for now. Now there's only two enemies, so it's not really worth fireballing. Which is good, because River just ran out of spell points. Oops. Your poison, and... Let's do a flame on old Anastasia here. Ha ha! With a final blow, you slay Anastasia, powerful mage and traitor to humankind. You have handed a grave setback to the plans of the Nephilim of Exile. Okay. Oh, cool. And you gained a couple of levels. Awesome. Now you may notice that uh, any kind of discussion, negotiation, talking was not an option. She went into attack mode right away. Kind of don't blame her since we just spent some time mowing through all of her allies. Bronze helmet might sell for something. Or I might decide that one of my characters could use a bronze helmet. Ooh, this room is fancy. Just some gold. Gold is nice. Nothing in the bookshelves, but there's a suspicious gap right here. Always save before traps. Just in case something like that happens. This hidden corridor ends in a narrow shaft heading down into darkness. I'll come back to that because I do want to see if there's anything in this little cubby here, and there is. There is a large notebook here, stuffed with notes and scraps of parchment. Most of it is of little interest. However, three items are noteworthy. You discover these are the apartments of a human mage named Anastasia, who offered her powers to the Nephilim in return for power over them. She heads the warrior faction of the tribe, which is upset with the priest faction. Well, not no more, they're all dead. They are fighting over a necklace. She expresses extra irritation that a shaman took a bronze key to the new fort. Well, I guess if we hadn't already found that bronze key, we uh, could have used this as a clue to go and find it. Finally, near the bottom of the stack, you find a scrap of paper with powerful arcane runes. You now know the spell Major Blessing. Ooh, very cool. I don't think we have anyone at a high enough spell level to cast that yet. But I do so love finding new spells. So let's see where this takes us. We're back in the basement, and also back in the dark. Come, let me select the thing, will you? Thank you. Uh, 
do hope there's no nasties waiting for us here. We're in sort of bad shape. Phew. And what did I just say about nasties? Only a spider. It goes squish. So this looks like just a little emergency escape route. Dang it. And now we're all poisoned. I swear, sometimes the selector cursor thing just doesn't work quite, quite right. Okay. And there's one last thing that I want to do here before we leave the fort, and technically it's not killing this guy, this is just a little get out of my face. I mean, I never turned down delicious experience, but oh, come on, I've got stuff to do here. Delicious experience and gold pieces. Always can use a few more of those. And a bunch of spiders. You'd think that I hadn't just uh, already been through here and killed off everything I found. And once again, who's got spell points? Poisoned, but not very. I will end you. Yeah, book's poisoned, but not very much, so I'm just gonna let it go. There, see? One damage and it's gone. Anyway, the door's locked again. Y'all might remember this guy from the previous episode. This very relaxed guy, who has quite the interesting relationship with Anastasia. He smiles serenely. Okay, she, uh... Doesn't seem to react to the idea that I just killed her face. Welp. That is one of the weaknesses of this... One of, the, one of your weaknesses is sword to the face. Anyway, this being the very first iteration of uh, the Exile series at all, let alone this particular one, it is somewhat static in its conversation options. I'll show you cursing. But yes, slight weakness of this game is it is rather static in its conversation options. So sometimes you'll get uh, little bits like that where people don't really respond to in-game events. I think in uh, one of the later remakes, that guy, Bertrand is his name, I forget. But yeah, in one of the later remakes, he does respond to the news of Anastasia's death and says something to the effect of he'd better get out for good this time and head to the nearest fort. Human fort, I mean. So, we are done with this place. We are going to say goodbye, see you never. And next time... We're going to head back to Formalo, maybe do a little bit more exploring around this area. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.